Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of earrings with tiara cast bezels designed for Swarovski crystals. So before I dive into my earring design here, I want to show you the different bezels and the sizes of crystals that fit each one. So let me draw your attention up here. Now these are the 10 millimeter cushion stones. They're so sweet. They're like little rounded squares and these fit into our little cushion bezels here. So you can see that we have pendants and links and I made a little quick earring here just by combining two of those beautiful opal colors. And then I used this barrel tiara cast bead that also has that nice little hammered look on the outside edge there. So on the back, you can see maybe a little bit more of that hammering and it has a little slightly pointed back because it nicely fits the back of that stone. So some of those beautiful colors here, I just brought out a selection just to tempt you with. We have some beautiful classics, like this is that crystal golden shadow. We also do have crystal. And then like I was saying, I use some opal colors. So I have a couple of the opals here as well. So I have a nice beautiful white opal and the air blue opal. So lots to choose from there. So you can use any type of, type of finish here. We have the silver, the gold, and the antique brass. So go ahead and choose your favorite one with your cushion stone. All right, so that's one of the settings you can choose. We also have this teardrop setting over here and it has a nice little sort of beaded edge. Now you'll notice on the back, it's got that kind of etching to it, which I actually think is really nice because if you're gonna wear this as a pair of earrings, you're gonna want a nice little sort of 360 design so there's something going on on the back there. So this one actually fits a 14 by 10 pair and I have a little emerald one out here just to show you. So very simply, it just sort of fits perfectly right into that bezel and you get a nice flush kind of style there which really makes it look like this is a lovely finished piece. So that's one option there for the teardrops. And before I go on to my other teardrop, I just wanna show you that I do have some Rivoli settings up here as well. I have some links and then some beautiful little pendants. Again, we have that nice hammered look. So if you wanted to combine this with, let's say, one of the cushion stone ones, it has that same hammering to it. So you can combine these in designs and they look lovely together. So just a little extra tip for you. But these fit that 12 millimeter Rivoli stone, just like so. And they're nice and again, flush and beautiful. All right, so the last little round stone I have here is this fits a SS39 chaton. So the chaton has a nice little pointed back there. And this just fits really sweetly into one of those little bezels, just the same. So a nice little extra decorative element and it's just really nice and tiny. So this is wonderful to again, add to some of those links or even to the end of a bracelet or a necklace. So nice little sweet one there. All right, so the last one I have, and this is the pair of earrings I'm gonna construct here. This is the size 18 by 13 pair. And this is really nice. I like this setting because it doesn't have any extra embellishment on it. It's actually not even hammered. It just has a little bit of that uh, etching on the back like the other one, but there's nothing else to it. So it's really a great way to showcase that stone. And because you get a nice big pear shape there, it's just gonna be really beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna start off here and set my stone, just pop it out there, using some E6000. And I have uh, just a little pad here and a couple of toothpicks and that's gonna help me with setting my stone. So I'm gonna open up my E6000 here and I'm just gonna get a little bit on my paper. Close up my glue, I don't want that to dry out. And now I'm just gonna take a toothpick and just kind of grab a, a good sized little blob there. There we go, just on the end of my toothpick. And I wanna get it into the bottom well there without getting it all the way up the walls. So I just really want it to get as deep in there as possible so that when I put the stone in there, the glue doesn't kind of squish out the top. That's sort of what you're, what you're after here. All right, there we go. And now I'm just gonna take my stone and I'm gonna go ahead and set it in there, center it and just press down firmly. Again, making sure that none of that glue is coming out there. There we go. All right, so that's how easy it is to set the stone. I'm gonna set that aside there, move my glue out of the way. And then the other tools that we're gonna to need, we're gonna need a pair of chain nose pliers, a pair of round nose pliers, 
and a pair of flush cutters just to complete my little design here. So while this guy is drying, let's go ahead and take our eye pin here. Now I'm using a 21 gauge, one and a half inch eye pin. And I'm gonna slide on one of my little bicone crystals there. That's a four millimeter Swarovski crystal. I have these cute little lotus beads. So I'm gonna slide one of those off. These are also from Tierra Cast. And then I am going to slide on one more of my bicones. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and I'm gonna come in, cause I wanna make a nice little simple wire loop and I want it to be tight. So right up against that crystal there, I'm just gonna bend it back, wrap my wire up and over the top, move my wire, I was, excuse me, move my plier and then move the wire across to complete that little loop there. And then I'm just gonna come in with my flush cutters and snip off that excess wire. And we can go ahead and set that aside. All right, so now to this top loop here, cause I want my flower to be facing up. I'm just gonna come in with my chain nose pliers and give it a little gentle twist just to open that up. And then I'm gonna slip on my Lotus earring post. Now again, this is also tiara cast, that's why they match so well. So I have my little design happening here. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish this earring. I do recommend that you wait at least 24 hours before wearing these earrings. We just wanna make sure that that E6000 has a nice little bond. So again, just turning that open and then slipping it on and then closing that right up. So there is our earring and I chose this color design. It kind of looks like a little pineapple to me. So I thought that was just very fun and very tropical. But you can also see that I've done a different colorway up here. So this one is really easy to personalize. You can also use a different uh, bezel pendant down here. If you wanted to keep it simpler, you could use a nice little small one there. Or of course we have our cushion. Um, and let's see our last little bezel there. So lots of options here when you are choosing how to finish this very simple design. So you can just choose your favorite colors, choose your favorite beads, and make a great pair of earrings using the Tierra Cast Bezels for Swarovski Crystals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to head over to BeTaHalik.com to shop all that you've seen here. And if you're new to our YouTube channel here, be sure to hit that subscribe button below.